could soon cost you less if you're caught with marijuana in Wichita. The city council is considering reducing penalties for weed and fentanyl test strips. But as KSN Samantha Boring explains, not all law enforcement is on board. Samantha. The Wichita City Council will debate several options to change the city code relating to marijuana or fentanyl testing strips. One of those options would be to reduce the fine from $50 to $25 if you're caught with pot or testing strips. Another option would be to remove pot cases from municipal court requiring the DA's office to prosecute. But the Sedgwick County Sheriff is not sure if he has some, he has some concerns if this passes. Will it create a safer environment? No, I, I don't think it will whatsoever. Sedgwick County Sheriff Jeff Easter says if a deputy runs into someone with fentanyl testing strips, they usually take them as evidence and do not look to arrest or prosecute. If that's an extra barrier, if they think they have to take a Percocet pill uh, to at least assure them that there's no fentanyl, then, uh, you know, I'm. I understand that. He says he's not one to encourage drug use and says if this passes, he's hopeful it could help save lives if someone chooses to use. But on the other hand, he's not for decriminalization of marijuana. He says it could create problems for the county or district attorney's office. I would need reassurances on uh, that for simple possession, they're not going to start booking uh, individuals hold for state warrant because they won't charge it in the city, but want to try to charge it over here. County wise, you've got a district attorney that can charge or not charge if, if he wants to or, or she at some point. Um, I think state wise is kind of the same way. I don't know what they would do. I've not had any direct conversations with them. The sheriff hopes the city continues to review and think hard about its plans on this. I haven't heard of any real strong opposition to this other than folks that just think it may lead to more drug consumption, but I think that's going to happen anyway. I did reach out to the district attorney's office to see if he has any comment on the proposal at this time. They did tell me the DA is not commenting currently on this proposal. We will be at the city council meeting tomorrow morning, so make sure to stay with us for the latest on what the council decides. Here for you in Wichita, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3.